liters or at least 850 I would say so let's see what we can do today yeah well, we gotta go over the highway here in order to get to it before we uh, can fuel up there we go we made our stop nobody coming yeah it's 
it's always good to check if nobody's coming, right? That's right. Well, my friend Barry was right. That is a very small drop stop. And to be honest with you guys, I've never stopped in this Flying J before. And I was actually thinking about me driving up to here last night, but then I decided, no, I wasn't going to do that. But here we are. No, we are here. GPS is probably going to scream at me because I didn't have it set to go here. But yeah, I got to figure out how to get in here. I guess we're going to have to change lanes into there so we can get into the parking lot, eh? Yeah, let's see. Well, I'm assuming you got to go in this way. That would make sense to me. Yeah, this is the very first time for me going in here too, so... Looks like they only have two pumps in there. And both of them are occupied. But, hey, I'm just gonna have to wait in line then, I suppose. It's about the only thing I can actually do, right? Because uh, I need fuel, I have to get fuel over here, so that's just the way it's gonna be. Yeah, I can see this uh, would have been tough to find a parking in here. I mean, look at it. It's only maybe for 20 trucks, that's about it, maybe. That'd be about all you could get in here. So, let's line us up here. Let's see this driver on this side here. I don't even see him fueling. I don't know if he's just not wanting to fuel or if he's done and just didn't pull forward or what. But anyways, we'll be right back and I'll go fuel her up here and we'll see you guys a little bit later. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the uh, meat place is. Up here to the right, the slaughterhouse that I was telling you guys about. Yeah. That's right, this is where they are located at. A lot of meat gets slaughtered up here. That's for sure. I've been uh, noticing some truck issues here since I left the Flying J. Every once in a while they'll go, you know. So I don't know. Uh, I got a wiring issue or what's going on I uh, I really hope that's not it you know but uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it and see what uh, what it does hopefully we don't break down here on the road you know that would be terrible that would be very bad if I were to break down right now because I have something scheduled right now that would not be good if I would to, would be to break down right now. I would not like that one little bit. But then again, who does, right? Nobody likes to be broken down. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna keep an eye, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best, I guess. There is somewhere a problem that is uh, starting to occur. And that's not good. But anyways, we're going to continue rolling. And uh, hopefully we can make it. Hopefully we can make it. That's right. Alrighty, guys and gals. We are here at the Husky here in Calgary, Alberta. We just went in and had us a good shower because uh, we are waiting on our friend to show up over here. And in the meantime, while we're doing that, I'm using my GoPro 3. I wanted to show you my setup that I got over here for my, uh, for my GoPro. That's where I have my Aperture mic set up like that. Hooks up to my uh, GoPro 4. So I think it's a very nice uh, little setup that I got over here, you know. And uh, that's what we're going to be using to uh, videotape with uh, when we go to a place. I'm going to tell you in about about the place we're going to in a little bit. But yeah, it's got a nice little stand like that. 
and very nice got the GoPro clip right there and everything very nice setup but anyways we are just waiting on our buddy to show up over here so we'll be back once he does alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are in the process of leaving Calgary and this is the very first time that I have ever taken this 201 around but I figured you know what we got to try it one of these days I know it's a longer way around but uh, I said I don't really care today it's uh, already in the afternoon and I didn't want to be stuck there downtown Calgary or not really downtown but uh, more a town of Calgary you know a lot of traffic lights and all that I figured it would be just as long driving around this area than it would be uh, driving through Calgary so I figured well I gotta take this new highway 201 that takes us around the north side of Calgary and some things did change here for me that I haven't updated you guys yet and those things are that uh, dispatch sent me a message there just before I got to Calgary and they said well that load that I have is not in any rush they had a different load there that needed to be in the BC before this load that I had and so they wanted me to do a trailer switch up here in Calgary pick up a different load and bring that to uh, Surrey BC terminal instead so uh, that's what we did and I think I don't know if I explained it to you yet or not I forgot I had so much video footage today that I don't know if I talked about this yet I think I figured out what was the problem there this uh, morning with my uh, truck jerking like that you know and since I think I have figured out it hasn't happened yet again so uh, from what I have figured out it was my ABS sensor doing it because what happened was uh, I had it had it looked at again on Monday and there yesterday or pretty pretty much as soon as I left it came back on again you know and then there this morning when I was fueling up I was resetting the computer to uh, get the light to go out right maybe reset it maybe try it again right well, I guess because I did that, for some odd reason, the computer wasn't communicating well, I guess, with the other computer. And uh, I guess that was causing it to jerk a little bit or whatever, you know? So, uh, finally after a while, all of a sudden my ABS light came on. And I, after that, I haven't had that problem again. So, uh, I sent... Uh, I sent a uh, dispatch a message saying that I should be okay to go to BC and so they uh, sent me this load offer and here we are we are on our way to BC now just gotta get out of Calgary area which I think we will be here in about 10 kilometers we'll be back on highway 1 and then we will start to go into the mountains here in a few hours probably two hours and we'll be in the mountains or roughly about that so you'll get to see some mountain footage possibly yet today for sure tomorrow I know today it might be I don't know if it would be dark by the time I get into the mountains I don't think so but then again you never know right things can change real quickly up here with the weather and stuff like that it can get cloudy and all that so uh, you never know how fast it can get dark here in the mountains, but we'll see. I know BC is two hours behind our time, so that could make it a little different. So we should be able to get a few hours driving yet in. It's only 3.30 in the afternoon right now. So we'll see how far we make it, but uh, we'll give it a shot and go from there, right? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting to be coming into the mountains. That's right. We are now in the area of Banff, Alberta. That's right. Yeah, we are in the area that a lot of people go to vacation sometimes. They like to go into Banff area and do some skiing. Although it doesn't look like there's a lot of snow left right now, but uh, 
hey we got nice sunshine up here so I ain't gonna complain about some nice sunshine up here that's for sure because it could get really crappy out here if it's not sunny you know I've been down here many times before and I think you guys have even seen it when I've been down here where it was snowing in this stretch of the highway yeah I think last time I come down here well, that's how it was it was snowing like crazy when I come down here especially there where I stopped to the first uh, brick shack there it's snowing like crazy that's right but we haven't had any more problems with the truck so we've been gone since uh, well, just after 3 I guess uh, we left Calgary and it's 5 o'clock now Central Standard Time so that's fantastic news so now we know pretty sure what it was so uh, we're good to go I hope the sun is not blinding that camera too much though so we can get a good footage of this today but it is beautiful temperatures out here like plus seven plus eight that's fantastic news what's it say Bow Valley Parkway some kind of park something coming up here in two kilometers that's right there's a photography uh, photography out there taking some pictures but it is beautiful out here it really is but we're going to continue cruising along here and see what else we'll be able to show you today all right guys we are at the second brick shack right ahead. or just past the second brick shack i guess you could call it we just stopped up there at the brick shack and now this is what they call the 10 mile hill that's right it goes down a long way so we're just going to take a really easy we're going to keep our four-way flashers on and uh, we are not going to be rushing ourselves we don't care how fast other people go because I do not have a very strong engine brake so uh, therefore I go slower than a lot of other people because that allows me to be able to uh, control my truck better than I would if I would uh, go down faster now if I had stronger engine brake I could probably go down faster but uh, Unfortunately, I don't have very strong engine brake, so we're just gonna take a real easy, really easy. Yeah, and the highway used to go down way over there, but they rebuilt this highway and they cut away this mountain up here that you see. And they actually up there they cut through the mountain, so that way they can make it a little easier for us truckers, you know. Or for everybody I guess it says for 2.6 kilometers it's at say 6% downgrade so yeah we are gonna go downhill deep into the valley that's for sure oh yeah that's right they even got what you call a runaway lane right up here right here to the right where you see them yellow signs up there that's what they call a runaway lane for an emergency case if you can't stop uh, you go in there you will stop <laughs> if not you'll go right up there over that hill I <laughs> know I don't think you would because they got some kind of gravel in it right so that way it will force you to stop yeah my ears are popping because we're going downhill so steep you know but anyways, this is a brand new bridge that they built up here a couple of years ago to support this new highway. And I remember going way down there in the bottom. That's right. But here we are. The 
sun is still very much up there. And we are just about to hit the down. Not the bottom, not all the way yet, but starting to get close. But it's beautiful sceneries up here, that is a given. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, I know we're starting to pick up a little bit of speed, but I'm doing that on purpose, you know, I'm using a little bit of my brakes and the rest the engine brake is doing and I'm slowly letting it speed up a little bit because we're almost at the bottom, right? I'm starting to gear up a little bit. Let her be at top speed at the bottom, right? That's okay. I just don't want to go over the speed limit, you know, at the, at the bottom. Here we are, pretty much hit the bottom. So now we can go back to cruise control. Yeah. We got 10 kilometers to Golden, so I think we got another brake check before I, before we hit Golden. I haven't quite decided on exactly where we're going to get to tonight, but uh, I guess we get to wherever we get to, I suppose. My original goal was to make it up to Merritt, but I don't think that we're going to make it up there. <laughs> I really don't think that we're going to make it there. But we'll see. Once I get tired, that's where we'll pull over and that's it. Alright guys and gals, the scale up here in Golden is open. But they are almost always open, so uh, it's no big deal for me. Gotta go pull in here and see what they want. Yeah. So let's keep our eyes on the things there and see what they're gonna tell us. It's a lady in there today, it looks like. She looked like a very nice lady. She's even saying hi to me and everything, so that's fantastic. Another 14,000 kg on the drive. For 229 kilometers. Let's see, 9,800 pretty much on the trailer, so wow. They don't want to talk to us today. So then we're gonna try and make our way back towards Highway 1. Yeah. Sun is starting to slowly go down from what it looks like. So we will be driving in dark here very soon. Very soon. That's right. That's okay. I don't know how much further I'm gonna last today. I am actually starting to feel a little tired now. I mean, I've been up since seven o'clock this morning, and it's seven o'clock in the evening already. That's Manitoba time, so uh, that means I've been up for a good while. Ready? Yeah, Highway 1 West is open, so that's good. We want the highway to be open. We don't need it to be closed. That's the last thing we need, right? Yeah, that's what I would say. But anyways, let's see where, where we will end up for tonight. I was thinking Sycamus. That was about an hour and a half from here, so... I think so anyways, let's see if they got a sign up here. Gravel stock is 122. And I think Sikkim Moose is very close after that. That yeah, says 100 kilometers an hour right there and this guy says 80. So he's screaming at me, 80 speed warning. Oh well, I guess they don't have it right in the GPS. That's okay, we just go according to the signs. Well, let's continue on and uh, 
see what else we'll be able to show you. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. We have made it up to Sycamore, British Columbia, to the Husky truck stop up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but we are safe and sound in the truck stop. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, what do we got? We got 460 kilometers to go yet tomorrow. I would say that's about five and a half hours worth of driving, especially mountain driving and all that. And then we should be at our terminal. That's right. So, I figured, well, we barely just stopped here only about 10 minutes ago, maybe. I only went in and used the restroom, that's it. So, uh, figured I would close the show here right away. And then I'll upload all these files to my computer. And I got a lot of video footage today, so I kind of want to check it out on the computer and all that because I can't watch it on this camera so anyways that's about all we got today I hope you really enjoyed today's special video I know it's probably been a long one but uh, hey we do whatever we do best we try to give you a good show every day and sometimes it's a little extra bonus you know that's right and I think certainly today was one of the best videos that I've made in a good while so uh, I hope you'll rate the video up big big fat thumbs up hit that subscribe button right there in that corner over there and there's a share button right down there below so hit that share button well my battery died on me here I knew it was low so I was trying to rush at the end there but it had died on me so as I was saying there's a share button down there below so share it with your friends and family on your social media sites. And with that being said, have a good one everybody. And we will be sure back tomorrow. So stick around for those footage. We got some awesome footage pretty much every day. We try anyways. So have a good one everybody. I will catch you tomorrow uh, right here on this channel. Leave comments down there below what you think about today's video. And if you would ever be considering to go to a restaurant like we did today I certainly will go back to that restaurant if I got the opportunity and I know JP said he would too so with that being said have a good one